the title of the message is what it means to be born again what it means to be born again what it means to be born again many of us don't know the essence of being born again the essence of being born again many of us tend to think that when we are born again we just then sit and watch we then just uh, 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 just watch the Lord as as um, him he, as he will do anything that we so wish so today we are going to break uh, it down we're going to be breaking it down hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. turn with me to Genesis chapter 3 Genesis Genesis chapter 3 and verse 17 to 20 Genesis 3 17 to 20 he said he says to Adam he said because you listened to your wife and ate fruit from the tree about which I commanded you you must not eat from it now this is God curses the ground because of you he said because you listen to your wife because you listen to your wife and ate the fruit from the tree about which I commanded you you must not eat from it see God commanded Adam and Eve or Adam and Eve yeah not to eat of the fruit of what good and evil but they went against his word and so that was the beginning of what sin that that is when sin entered and then there was the curse and God came in and said because you listen to your wife and ate the fruit from the tree about which I commanded you you must not eat it from you must not eat from it curse is the ground because of you now watch this he said he didn't say because of the snake he said because of you because of your rebellion because of you through through painful toy you will eat eat food from it all the days of your life now this is the case through painful toil you will eat food from it eat from it all the days of your life it will produce thorns and thistles for you and you eat the plant of the field by the sweat of your brow you will eat your food until you return to the ground since from it you were taken for dust you are and to dust you will return mm -hmm. adam and then adam named his wife eve before because she will become the mother of the all the living yeah. so beloved you can see here the genesis of curse how curse came about because man became disobedient man became disobedient and then god came in and stepped in and said because you have listened to your wife and ate the fruit uh from ate the fruit from the tree about which i commanded you you must not eat from it then curses the ground so god curses the ground mm -hmm. you see it, it, i was thinking that he was just going to curse the man mm -hmm. but he curses the ground they curse the ground. Hallelujah. Amen. He cursed the ground. So that means the entire environment now became contaminated. Yes. The original intent of God was for us to be immortals. Mm -hmm. The original intent of God was for us to take care of the Garden of Eden. Right. The original intent of God was for us to be blessed evermore. Amen. Uh, nothing missing and nothing broken. Amen. But then man went against his word. He said, you can eat of every tree in this in a garden, yeah. but not of that tree. That's right. But man, man trust, trespassed. Yeah. Man went against the word of God. Mm -hmm. And so God stepped in yeah. and said, because you have gone against my word, curse is the ground. Mm -hmm. Now, the curse that God pronounced, beloved, I wanted to tell you, it mm -hmm. was, he was cursing the world. The ground represents the world in the world because it was the environment the, the the atmosphere the atmosphere that man was in he cursed the atmosphere he cursed the ground it was the wherever the man find himself it will it's cursed because of what the rebellion or because of what going against the word of god because of going against the word of God. And so the ground was cursed. The world was cursed. And if you ask me today whether the world is still cursed. Yes, the world is cursed. So whatever is going on, 
whatever is going on is not news to me. It's not news to me. The world has been cursed by God. The world has been cursed by God because of man going against his word. Amen. Huh? Yeah. You see, don't let anybody put you in hell. Don't let, don't let anybody tell you anything that will not align with the word of God. Mm -hmm. Because the word of God is the truth. That's right. So he says, the ground was cursed. Mm -hmm. So from Adam time to up until this time, mm -hmm. the world has been cursed because of what man yeah. going against. Yeah. And when you watch it in verse, in, verse, in verse 20, he says, Then Adam named his wife Eve because she will become the mother of all the living. Mm -hmm. Because Eve is uh, the mother of all the living. Yeah. Every one of us in, on, on this planet. Mm -hmm. We have one mother. The original mother yeah. is who? Eve. Yeah. And she caused you know, us to sin. Because she became a sinner. We are then what? Sinners. Yeah. We then became what? Sinners. Yes. We then became sinners. Yes. Uh, yeah. If it's a mango tree, it will give the fruit will be what? Mangoes. So it's the same thing. When you are born from of a woman then you also become a sinner then we automatically became sinners hallelujah but watch this but i'm i'm i'm, 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 I'm i am i am taking you on a journey hallelujah Amen. so the world became cursed mm -hmm. and so even now i want to let you know even at the coming of jesus christ you know when jesus came the world was still cursed and when jesus departed the world is still cursed Watch this. The world is still cursed. Now, that's why God had to send Jesus Christ to come and redeem his people. Redeem his people to the to the original state. But I'm taking you on a journey. Now, watch this. What is this curse about? The ground has been cursed. The atmosphere has been cursed. When you watch around, the world has been cursed. Everything because of man's heart, because of the state of man's heart. Because of the rebellion, yeah. it's going on right now. Yeah. Man is rebelling. Yeah. Man is rebelling. They are doing all sorts of things. Yeah. Now people are sleeping with animals. Mm -hmm. This is rebelling. Yeah. People are sleeping with animals. People are doing all sorts of, you know, things that as you, you can't even imagine that yeah. a human being will be doing. Yeah. So the world is cursed. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. And so wait, let's see, let's see. In Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15 to 20, he says, He says, What is this curse? What is this curse about? Beloved, I'm not putting fear in you. In you. We, we are going on a journey. He says, Rich. However, if you do not obey the Lord your God, now watch this. This was the beginning. This is what he told, he commanded uh, 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 Adam and Eve. Yeah. He said, You shall eat of all this good all these trees you shall eat of these trees but that particular tree don't eat yeah. of the good of in and evil don't eat it because the day you eat of it you shall die yeah. that was god's commandment in the beginning yeah so so watch this what's the curse he said however if you do not obey your god and do not carefully follow all his commands mm -hmm. and decrees i'm giving you the, today all these curses will come on you and overtake you. Yeah. You will be cursed in the city and cursed in the country. Yeah. Your basket and your kneading trough will be cursed. Now watch this. He said your basket. You you will be working and getting your harvest, putting in the basket, uh, and the kneading trough will be he said he said will be cursed. So even everything that we do for we do and we'll be toiling for, it says that when we try to save, even our saving account will be cursed. Mm wow and so people who are who are against his word who are against who are rebelling we can see that's why we said you work but there are holes in your pocket yeah there are holes in your pocket because it's cursed mm -hmm. hallelujah Amen. it says the fruit of your womb will be cursed and the crops of your land and the calves of your herds and the mm -hmm. and the lambs of your flocks yeah he said you will be cursed when you come in yeah. and when you go out mm -hmm. Now, people might think that this only pertains to the Jews of that time. Mm -hmm. 
but it's, it was actually God, you know, linking this to the Genesis time, you know, to, to the Adam time, yeah. where he said, curse is the ground. Yeah. But here he's elaborating, he's elaborating, he's actually giving more details as to how the curse mm -hmm. will pertain yeah. to us. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, the Lord will send you on you curses, confusion, and rebuking everything you put your hand to. Mm -hmm. until you are destroyed and come to the sudden ruin because of the evil you have done in forsaking him. Mm -hmm. So when we watch, we watch around, we can see things are not going the way we expect. Yeah. Man, man, man proposes, but God disposes. That's right. the, 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 we, we can see that people who think that they are, they are intellectual, intellectually what? Uh, 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 blessed and and they are they, they, they are expecting your field they still have come to they still don't know what is going on yeah they are they are waiting because it's God it's God that he said that the curse is the ground mm -hmm. cursed if you go against my word curse is the ground hallelujah yeah. and so we we have to align ourselves to the word of God we have to align and so Man said they will obey the law. Mm -hmm. And when, when we go back to the time of Moses, mm -hmm. you see, man said they will want the law. And even so, God brought the law. Mm -hmm. he, he, brought the, he gave them the law. Yeah. And, and he said, you, you go against any of them and you know that there is a curse. Mm -hmm. Because that's how God has, has, has designed it to be. Mm -hmm. That if you go against it, you shall be cursed. And man was struggling. And so in the world, we have the law. We have, we have the Mosaic law still operating. Because they have departed from God. They have departed from, the, from God. Because when you depart from God, you, you, you set up a standard. You set up rules to, to, to obey. You, you want to obey certain rules to make you feel good. But watch this. As much as you try you realize that you're still not keeping up. You are not able to keep up. Mm -hmm. And that's how the world has come to. They set up rules and standards, and yet they are not able to match the standards. Mm -hmm. They are breaking the rules. Now watch this. The, the government will even come up with their own rules, and members of the government will, 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 will still will break, break it. it. Yeah. Because you cannot match up. Mm -hmm. And so the curse will be coming. Yeah. And that's why Jesus had to what? Send his son. Yeah. Because he, he said, I want to bring my people back to me. I want them to be redeemed from this curse. Yeah. That they, they want to match up to the standard of this world. Mm -hmm. They want to match up the standard of these laws. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But they, they keep failing. Mm -hmm. They keep what? Failing. Mm -hmm. They are not able to match up to the standards. And that's why Jesus Christ had to come in. Yeah. Now Jesus, now let me tell you. Jesus came so that we might be redeemed. Yeah. It's not. Now watch this. Now watch this. There's a difference between the world and the 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 Jesus. Uh, the different. No, yes. The, yes. The, yes. Yeah. There's a difference between the world and the kingdom of yes, God. Yeah. yeah. And Jesus coming. Jesus is. Jesus came that we might be saved. That's right. Those who hear him in the world will be what saved. That's right. And so it's not much. It's not so much of the world mm -hmm. being saved. But those who obey him, yeah. those, who, those who give their life to him, yeah. shall be redeemed. That's, right. That's why he said, you are in this world, but not of this world. this world. Because this world has been cursed. Yeah. That's why he said, in the last day, he said, heaven and earth shall pass away in Revelation. Oh. He said, he said when heaven and earth shall pass away, but then we shall see the new Jerus Jerusalem coming from heaven. Right. The new Jerusalem is the church yeah, that he's going to come and establish his kingdom here on earth. Mm -hmm. So that one, that old world will be passing away. That mm -hmm. cursed world will be what? Pass. He, will be, he will be destroying the old world, yeah. which, which has been cursed, mm -hmm. which is the present age. Yeah. But for now, he wants to redeem everyone yes, who believes in him. Amen. That you shall not die. Amen. Uh, but then you shall live. Mm -hmm. And then you shall be redeemed of the curse. Yeah. Are, you, are, you, are you following? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's go to Luke chapter 18. Mm -hmm. And verse 18 to 30. Mm -hmm. Luke 18. 
and 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 from and verse 18 to 30. Yeah. It says, a certain ruler, mm -hmm. a certain ruler as hey, good teacher, what must I do? What must I do to inherit the eternal life? Now watch this. Now Jesus came so that we are redeemed, so that we shall be redeemed. Now this man knew that this now there's a connection. Uh, there's a connection uh, 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 between Jesus and the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. He knew there's a there's a eternal life somewhere. Hallelujah. And so, so he said, what must I do to inherit this eternal life? That when I die, now watch this. This man was not talking about this world. This world. Mm -hmm. Now, now believe this. The ruler knew that there was, there was something after life. There was something because he had everything in this world. Yeah. Because watch this. If if it was if it was it was uh if if it was true that when man died, that would be the end, then he wouldn't have bought it. Because he had the Bible said he had, he had everything. He had everything. So he wouldn't have bothered to go or he bothered going to Jesus and ask him, What must I do to inherit the eternal life? So there was a clear distinction between the world of today and eternal life. Yeah. That is the most paramount thing that everyone must be thinking of. That the world that we see today is like a flash. Yeah. It's like a flash. It's passing away. Amen. Whatever you see, you see, man has been just, just been given three score and a ten, a minimum. We are here for about a minimum of 70 years mm -hmm. that God has given. So it's like a flash. But the real deal is the eternal life. Amen. Where you are going to spend your eternity. Amen. And so this ruler knew that there was something ahead of him. Mm -hmm. And so he went to God. He went to, no, he went to Jesus and said, what must I do to inherit this eternal life? And then Jesus said, why do you call me good? If you don't know that I am the son of God, why do you call me good? If you won't recognize me Adam, as the son of God and the Lord here, why call me good? Because there is nothing, no one good except God alone. You know the commandment. You shall not commit adultery. Now, you are coming up with a standard. Okay? Now, you, God is, Jesus is going to uh, uh, talk to you in your own language. So, he said, you shall not commit your, commit adultery. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony. Honor your father and mother. All these are, and then the man said, this man said, all these I have kept mm -hmm. since I was born, I, I, I was a boy. In other words, they have, he's much up to, with this standard. He's much up to this standard. He has followed these rules. And then Jesus heard, when Jesus heard this, he said to him, you still lack one thing. You still lack one thing. Now watch this. If you want, this is what Jesus was actually telling him. You see, he said, you, you have missed it because these rules that you are talking about pertains to this world. So that's why you saying you still lack one thing. What you are talking about is of the natural. What you are talking about is of this world. He said, you still lack one thing. So everything that you have now and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. He said, "You then, then Jesus was saying, now you you will have the connection yeah. with the eternal life yeah. that I'm about. I'm 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 here for. I'm here to give to my people. If you want to have some of this, if you want to uh, get connected to this, then go and sell all your possessions and give to the poor, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven." then come and follow me because then you now jesus was then saying then you are breaking free from this world yeah. you are breaking free from the laws of this of this world you are breaking free from the standards of this world mm -hmm. and then you will then come and what and follow me yeah when he heard this he became very sad mm. because he was very wealthy watch this he was very wealthy he became it it was it was it, to him, it was very difficult. It was very difficult. Uh, something that he had toyed for all his life. Yeah. He gained all the possessions. He gained all his houses. He gained everything that he has through hard work. And now you are telling me to go and sell everything and come and follow you. Mm -hmm. Sell everything and give it to the poor and come and follow you. But Jesus was actually 
saying something that a man saying something to him that a man actually missed he missed the spirit of the word he was the man was actually going by the letter of the word because to go and sell every possession it means that you go and give up the standards of this world yeah. you go and throw every possession everything that you so you are so attached to don't you don't we see that people are so attached to the things that they have worked for the things that they have so yearned for the things that they have so toyed for and this they, they are so attached oh this is my mercedes how dare you come again <laughs> can I do anything to it we are so attached our Mercedes Benz uh, is now turned into our wives. Our houses is now become so precious to us. And so when Jesus say, "Go and sell that Mercedes Benz, go and sell that 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 house," it becomes so difficult yeah. because we are so attached. Because we tend to think that it's, it's through our toil, it's through our our hard work. So how do you tell me why are you asking me to go and sell it? But Jesus, the the, 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 the the thing is, Jesus was asking him that in order to gain this connection, in order to have this eternal life, you must break free from this world standards. Yeah. You must break free from the laws of this world and come and follow me. Yeah. Your love for me, your love for me automatically will give you access Amen. to this eternal world, that is to, to this eternal kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. So the man became sad because he had so many possessions. Mm. Now Jesus looked at him and said, How hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. Yeah. Indeed, it is easier for a camel mm. to go through the eye of a needle mm. than for someone who is rich mm. to enter the kingdom of God. Mm. Watch this. This is Jesus. Yeah. Jesus looked at him and said, How hard it is. For the rich, beloved, it's not—it's not, it's not it's, it's, it's nothing to do with the rich here. Yeah? It's nothing. It's not to say the rich cannot go to heaven. Mm -hmm. It's for the love yeah. of money. Yeah. It's for the love of our possessions. Possession. It's for the love of this world. Yeah. People are so much into this world, not knowing that they are here for a limited time. Yeah. Not knowing that they are here for just the day and the night is coming yeah. they are so much consumed uh, about the pleasures of this world yeah. that they have forgotten about their maker yeah. and so that's what jesus is saying how hard it is mm -hmm. for the rich it's not so much to do with it it's about us being hooked on to this world mm -hmm. it's so hard for us mm -hmm. to break free mm -hmm. because of the of, of of the wages that we will get at the end of the day. Mm. And so we, we love our employer than Jesus. Mm. We love our employer than Jesus. We love our cars more than Jesus. Mm. We love our, uh, of, uh, we love our properties more than Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Yeah. We love, we love the women around us more than Jesus. Mm. Eh? It's so hard. Mm. It's so hard to, for us to leave that behind. Mm. Leave that behind and go and follow Jesus. Yes, amen. See how hard it is. Mm. How it is for you see, it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. Yeah. Beloved, he was putting in as plain, he was making it as plain for everyone to understand. Yeah. He's saying if you are hooked on to this world, if you are hooked on to these things of this world, then it's going to be hard. Uh, it's going to be hard and it's even going to be easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle yeah. than for someone who is hooked on to this world mm -hmm. who is hooked on to the laws of this world mm -hmm. who is hooked on to the standard of this world mm -hmm. to enter the kingdom of God yeah. to enter the eternal to have the eternal life mm -hmm. amen. amen but today I'm here to tell you that there is an easy way mm -hmm. there is an easy way how you you can break free Amen. from these standards Amen. of this world how you can break free Amen. from this world standards Amen. the laws of this world yes. and come free uh, break free from the cycle yes, and, and enter into the kingdom of God yes. enter into his kingdom Amen. hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. Amen and so and so listen the disciples were <laughs> who heard this and who heard this ask so then, 
Jesus, if this is the standard, then who can be saved? <laughs> because they knew. You see, they knew that uh, 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 everyone uh, at that time, they, everyone was rich, more or less. Let, let that percentage of them were rich. Mm -hmm. So, so, so how he said, then who then can be saved? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Who then can be saved? Yes. Amen. And, and Jesus said, Jesus said, uh, Jesus replied, What is impossible with man is possible with God. That's right. It's possible with God. Yeah. And so, and so it's not about your riches here on earth. Mm -hmm. Don't don't use your riches. Uh, don't refer to your riches as success. The real success is you having what eternal life. That's right. It's you connecting with God, Amen. knowing that there is something ahead of you. Amen. There is something ahead of you. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Amen. 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 So, so Jesus had to come in and die for us, yeah. so that we might be partakers of His glory. Amen. So let's go to Hebrews chapter ten mm -hmm. and verse fourteen. Beloved, there is an easy way. Yeah. There is an easy way for us to break free. Amen. So that we, we don't get caught up with the wind. Yeah. Following, chasing wind. Yeah. Chasing the wind. Mm -hmm. And using the standard of this world mm -hmm. to measure our sources. Mm -hmm. God is saying there is an easy way. That's why he sent his son Jesus Christ mm -hmm. to come and die for us. Amen. So in Hebrews chapter 10 yeah. and verse 14, he said, For by one sacrifice... He has made perfect forever. He didn't say temporarily. He said he has made perfect forever. Those who are being made holy. Those who believe in him. He's perfecting us. He has what? Perfected us for by one sacrifice. That him, for him dying on the cross. We have been perfected. We have been perfected. That we have been translated into the light. Hallelujah. We've been we we are get we have access to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. We have access, and so no longer are we cursed. Amen. No longer are we cursed. Now I'm, I'm coming to. The, I'm, I'm saying I'm taking on a journey today. Yes. No longer are we cursed because He came to redeem us. Amen. Now watch this. This is where people don't understand, and they they tend to think that oh how can how can God watch on? There's no heaven and hell, yeah. or there's no hell. How can God watch on if he's a good God? How can he watch on and for me to go to hell and I, I for me to burn? Wow. <laughs> you see, that is the lie from the pit of hell. That's right. That is a lie mm. from the pit of hell. Mm -hmm. He has given us the choice. Yes. And then the thing is, when you leave here, you are not living here with this body. No. This is now this is the myth that people tend people tend to think, oh, how can he allow me to burn? The thing is, you are not taking your body mm -hmm. to hell. Your body is going to remain mm -hmm. in the grave mm -hmm. and it's going to go back to dust. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. But the real you is a spirit. That's right. Spirits react differently.